The Masters Division will challenge you with a number of special events featuring truly fast cars, including special race models. Today you'll get back on track at Northamptonshire, England's Silverstone Racing Circuit. Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4 Part 24. And for this segment to start off the Masters Division, I'm going to be driving my 2010 Grand Sport. The end. Because it's grand, dad. So here we go, and it looks like I'm going to immediately upgrade this thing to S class. And let's go for the Corvette Club since it gets me 50% affinity bonus as opposed to 25%. So, let's upgrade this bitch. Looks like I got some nice weight reduction, which is good. Yep, racing weight reduction, ignition, blah, blah. I don't see any tire upgrades. Oh, sport tires. Ooh. Also, I like how it has a different Chevy logo for the sport tires. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It's interesting. I guess because Chevy racing is just the red outline. I don't fucking know. Anyways. Let us just upgrade this thing and hope that um, the tires aren't ba too bad. So let's begin the Masters Division. Race 1 of 17 at Silverstone National Circuit. Uh, I'm waiting to get Horizon 2 for the Xbox One. By the way, I'm not getting the 360 version because... Meh. Anyways, to Silverstone. Here's our starting grid. It's it's a vet fest. Six out of eight are C6s. Nice. Then we have the C4 Grand Sport, aka the best Corvette ever. And then C5 Z06. Let's go. Ah, uh, balls. All right, take three. Let's make it out of turn one this time. Off we go. So, a near... A very close loss, thanks to a... Uh, Off-track moment, and then just getting dumped in turn one. That's the story of this race so far. Now... Fucking win this bitch. Around Williams, Let's not outbreak myself. Yes, this is an all vet race. Vets as far as the eye can see. Oh shit. Impromptu dive. Go cargo. Looks like this is going to be my overtake spot. As long as I don't heck it up like that. Do I see Vets as being midlife crisis mobiles? Yeah. A lot of middle aged dudes have Corvettes. I mean, it's definitely not a bad choice of a midlife crisis car, that's for damn sure. I want one, and I'm not even having a midlife crisis. I'm having an all-life crisis. Ha 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 ha, jokes. Anyways, I have the lead now. I heard some argy-bargy. It's like Davis got moved out of the way or something. So 
He's falling all the way back to fourth. Sliding onto the main street. And onto the final lap. Getting your dad's bimmer soon. Nice. Bimmers are cool. I like bimmers. Oh, I'm not paying attention. I'm looking at chat. It's okay, I win. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. E46 all wheel drive, six speed. Nice. That sounds pretty fucking swaggin'. You know what else is swaggin'? The fact that I won this race. Ah. Anyways. Chevrolet fan, oh yeah. And double level up thanks to the bonus. Nice. Double affinity level up, of course. Anyways, race one finally done after some trial and error. Today we return to sunny St. Petersburg for an event on the Sunset Peninsula Raceway. Oh yeah, Sunset Peninsula. Who's the short the uh, club circuit? Okay, well we have the same two choices, either Chevys or Corvettes, and it has the same uh, bonus. So we're Second verse, same as the first, just at a different location. So, hooray. So, more Corvette shenanigans, this time at the peninsula. And, uh, yeah, have a grand old time. Because it's the peninsula. So, same starting grid as before, because same series, so off we go. Hopefully this only takes one try as opposed to three that Silverstone took. And away we go. Just stick to the outside here, so I can... Maybe swoosh around some guys. I'm just swoosh around everybody. You know, that works too. Ooh, ooh, things are tight. Oh my god, we're three wide. That's a lot of Corvettes in a very small amount of space. Luckily, I survived. Hooray. Have I ever been to Florida? Actually, I have once. It was a long, long time ago, back when I was in my first relationship that was awful in every way, shape, and form. But her family does an annual trip to Florida and it's like, hey, come tag along, boyfriend. Okay. down. 
into the lead. That was a nice pass right there. Beautifully executed. I would really like to go to Florida again one day. Specifically in January. I don't know if you know about this, but there's this race that happens in Florida. You might have heard about it. It's uh, this, this little, not very well known uh, track called like Daytona or something. They... It's crazy, I know. They do this really, really long race around there. I think it's like 24 hours or something. I want to go spectate that. I really, really for fucking want to go see the Daytona 24 hour in person. It's like major bucket list thing. <clears throat> Anyways, this race is going a lot more smoothly than Silverstone. That's cool. They turn out, let's go away. I wonder if they're gonna release like a console version or like just like a not arcade version of Daytona USA 3. That'd be pretty swaggin' if they did. Oh dear, I'm going very wide, holy shit. Let's not touch the tires, tires are bad. The only tires I need are the four on my car. Okay. Now, I know there's like Daytona USA. I'm talking about the new Daytona USA. Like the new, new Daytona USA. As in Daytona USA 3. Final lap here at the peninsula. Yeah, they're telling you USA three does look awesome. Pretty great. It's also like funny seeing like a modern like art style Daytona, but with the old Daytona USA map, so it just looks all kinds of silly. It's like, that's not how Daytona goes, but hey, that's how Daytona looks. It's, it's pretty funny. And... Easy win. And I pulled the fuck away from everybody. That was uh, a little bit surprising. 11 seconds. Very good. It's gonna suck. And then C5, the lone C5 and the lone C4 bringing up the very back. Oh, I see why Jones is way the fuck behind. His is knee met upgraded to the top of S class. Well then. Let's go. Round two done. Chevy Affinity level three. We're almost at free upgrades for Chevrolet. So very close. So, let's go to round number three. Now it's back to the Georgia asphalt of the Road Atlanta course. 
Hey, Road Atlanta, sweet. All right. Ooh, track day event. Oh, I only have two choices, either Dodge S-Class or Chevy A-Class. Well, I guess I'm downgrading this to A-Class. Worse for me. So, Road Atlanta track day event. That's going to be interesting. No, there's actually a lot of people that don't like Forza 5, Denny. A lot of people. Chevy Sparks everywhere. All right. <laughs> Cool. Track day, bro, aka overtake challenge. So here we go. To the club circuit at Road Atlanta, I believe it was. Yep, club circuit. Yeah, Forza 5 is pretty much the the black sheep of the series. A lot of people don't like it. And considering half the car list, like, at least half the car list is DLC, I was like, ooh. Anyways, let's overtake 73 cars in probably two laps. Or maybe three, I don't know. How many laps are you going to give me? Four laps, okay. I mean, A-Class Corvette passing a bunch of Chevy Sparks. I think 73 will be uh, very doable. Just have to be careful to not destroy my car. Probably going to be difficult because the closing rate is going to be ridiculous. Should get full dashboard or shorter one. That's. Well, let's see, test drive. Are you going to need four cup holders? Those two extra cup holders? If not, I'd say go for the full dash thing if it looks better. Oh, hey, Dragonflight. I just look over my screen, Dragonflight, while also having a, a fucking cookie frenzy, so I'm just going to get a fuck ton of cookies here. Yes, I have Cookie Clicker going in the background. Don't judge me. Okay, past 20 cars that lap, so we're already on pace for victory. Oops! I'm surprised it took me that long to hit somebody. Delicious cookies. I got quite a bit of damage from that impact. Thankfully, no engine damage, though. Fuck that cone. Oh! Uh, acceleration is a thing. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. I got scurred. Like, I was committing to the outside, then I thought, okay, that's a bad idea, he's gonna move up at the exit, and I was just like, ah! Oh god. I knew about the minus one CPS for naming your bakery or teal. Because achievement. But I didn't know about the minus two for misspelling it. That's actually hilarious. It's like, bro, you couldn't even spell it right. You get a bigger penalty. Fucker. Dumbass.
Okay, final lap. Just need to pass 13, no, 15 more cars. 15 more sparks. Going up the inside. Oh, that was a bad idea. Look how that was a perfect pass, according to the game. Confirm this game likes dirty driving. Dirty Dan. And then we have a gap in the sparks. Hush UQ. I'll talk about what I want, motherfucker. Actually, there's a surprising amount of people that care about fucking Cookie Town here. By surprising, I mean more than none. And... Overtake track day challenge complete. Spin across the line. Cause why not? God damn it, I keep forgetting there's no like results screen. Cause I was on my lonesome. Hey, we got a level up reward and we got free Corvette up Corvette Chevy upgrades. Cool. Time for new car. A new car! The Ring King. Oh. Ooh. Well, you know what car I'm getting. GTR R35 ZR1, and of course the ACR. I'm getting the fucking ACR Viper. Suck me. I can't have enough Vipers. Oh, that looks sinister. With the, like. With it blending in with the fucking black stripe, it looks like it just has the one offset red stripe. That looks fucking gorgeous. Ooh. Yeah, we're doing that. I'm a fucking edgelord. Anyways. Onwards to our next event. Today, we return to the Amalfi region for another race through the streets of Italy. Hey, Amalfi. It's been a while since we've been here. Alrighty. Well, let's see. Sports car, Chevy production. Well, eh, yeah, let's do a sports car open because A class and also 100% credit bonus. So, yeah, ACR is too pretty to not get. Jav get get. Jav got get. Lol, lol. So go round number four. Oh god, it's fucking Amalfi. This ought to be interesting, because it's Amalfi. Even though it's like the short track's been renamed Positano, because hey, the full track isn't in this game. <laughs> so. It's about what I expected from the grid, at least the top of the grid. So off we go at Amalfi. Uh, so let's do this shit for four laps. Take a little wide. Hope I don't get dieted to death in the S's. Oh God. Things are happening in front of me. Oh, oh, oh Muller. Muller is struggling. And his Audi R8. Nope, excuse me, sir. That's Esposito. It's fine. mind pulling around Esposito because he's a cock. I don't know. So it's, it's interesting. I like... Like, they kept Fujimi Kaido and Nordschleife, but they got rid of Positano for some reason. 
Makes me slightly sad. Oop, excuse me, Williams. I know we're Corvette bros in this race, but I have a Rossi to catch and pass. Which one's better, this or GT4s and Malfi? I'm gonna go with GT4s. Because it's a cool street rally course. And this is just a fucking tight and twisty. Yeah. Oh my Jesus. Don't dance on the curbs, kids. Makes your car sad. Cue with the, uh, the different opinion. I still say Grand Valley is amazing, so... Halfway, we've caught Rossi, for the most part. Now I just gotta pass him. I wish Social Blade's fucking shit was, like, accurate, because that would mean I'd be making a sustainable income from my videos. But, <laughs> nope. I'm making maybe 10% of what they... Actually, not even 10% of what they predict. Actually, to be honest, my fucking YouTube ad revenue has been shit this month. Absolute garbage. Sucks. That was a slightly dirty pass on Rossi, but hey, I got the lead. So I'll take it. Yeah, because January. It's like, oh, new year, no money. <laughs> Suck it, nerd. I mostly don't pay attention to that crap, like, every now and then I'll look at, like, the general page of my analytics and be like, oh, hey. Cool. No progress is being made in any sort of thing, because all I'm doing is uploading Forza, and people are probably extremely tired of Forza content at this point, but hey, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. I also win this race. While being gay. Cool. I don't know. So there we go. Round four complete of the Masters Division. So now we move on to round number five. Which, if my notes are correct. Today you'll revisit the spectacular peaks and smooth blacktop of Camino Viejo de Montserrat. And my notes are correct. Okay, we're going to be doing a world championship race around the Camino's Extreme Circuit. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. So, we'll take care of that in the next segment. So with that, stay tuned for more Forza Motorsport 4.